Hello, this is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer. In this video, I get to talk to you about a great new product from SolidWorks called Treehouse. Treehouse started in the SolidWorks labs and is making its main stage debut as part of the suite in SolidWorks 2015. Treehouse is found from the start menu under the SolidWorks tools subfolder. In order to show you some of the awesome functionality in Treehouse, I'm going to start off by creating a new flatbed trailer design, something like the drop deck I just showed you on the screen. Many times as project designers and managers, we already have a good understanding of the structure an assembly should have. Treehouse gives us the ability to create new assemblies or modify existing assembly trees. We create new documents using our existing templates, which allow us to pre-populate the needed file properties for our new design. We can build the connection between the components in a diagram-like interface. We also establish the known configurations and quantities by selecting the appropriate corner of the icon. In the suspension assembly, it's helpful to show the range of motion to make sure we don't design any colliding parts, and configurations is a great way to do that. We can finish off the basic design by adding in a couple of parts for the major weldments, like the frame weldment and the kingpin plate weldment. The steps are easy. Drag a template, give it a name, and add the needed properties. Each of these new components are also going to need drawings. Using this method will allow us to think through our new design or to be able to hand this design off to a colleague or vendor. Once we have all of our connections established, we can use the export to SOLIDWORKS function to send this over to our familiar interface so that we can complete the design. Once we've got this opened up in SOLIDWORKS, the new trailer assembly has its first components inserted in the same hierarchy as they were in the treehouse diagram. We're ready to go to work. In a second example, I want to create a new bicycle design. For this one, I want to use many of the existing sub-assemblies. But like the trailer, I want to start by creating a new top-level assembly. So we'll give that a new document name. And then we'll also add in a new part number, BR549. Sounds good to me. Then using Windows Explorer, we can drag the existing frame assembly onto the new top level. Treehouse will build a diagram based upon the assembly structure. Each component is represented with an icon showing the referenced configurations and quantities. And the graphical representation of the assembly tree is great really makes it easy to understand what it all is included in our new design. I'll continue by adding a few other assemblies. We'll add in the fork assembly, the front and back wheel assemblies, we'll add in the handlebar, peddler, and derailleur assemblies. We get a great graphic of what this new bike assembly will contain. Not only is this a very efficient way to make assemblies, it's a lot of fun. For this new design, I want a new seat assembly. So using the templates on the left, I can drag to create a new document. And I'll finish it with a new seat and stem. Now that Treehouse is included as part of the SOLIDWORKS 2015 suite, I think it will become an invaluable resource for assembly designers. This is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoy SolidWorks Treehouse.